हेलो मै सेल्फ आकांक्षा थोरत फ्रॉम वी आई टी यूनिवर्सिटी चेन्नई नाउ आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द लिनक्स कर्नल आर्किटेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द एक्चुअल लिनक्स कर्नल लिनक्स कर्नल इज द कोर कॉम्पोनट ऑफ द एनी ऑपरेटिंग एनी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी कैन कॉल इट एज द हर्ट ऑफ द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट इज अ मोनोलिथिक कर्नल दैट इज द लिनक्स कर्नल इज अ मोनोलिथिक यूनिट्स लाइक कंप्यूटर ओ एस कर्नल द लिनक्स ओ एस इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस कर्नल एंड डिप्लॉयड ऑन बोथ द ट्रेडिशनल कंप्यूटर सिस्टम सच एज पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स एंड सर्वर्स द लिनक्स कर्नल वॉज क्रिएटेड इन नाइनटीन नाइंटी वन बाय द लिनक्स तोड़वा storewards for its personal use this is the picture of the linux storewards now we can see the architecture of the linux kernel this image shows the clear architecture of the linux linux kernel linux kernel architecture is divided into two layers user space and the kernel space in this space the user applications are executed in this user space gnu c library is also available this provides a system call interface that connects the kernel and provide mechanism to transition between user interface applications and the kernels now this is the kernel space in this space linux kernel is exist it is also divided into three levels at the top is the system call interface which implement the basic function such as a read and write below that there is a kernel code it is also called as the architecture independent kernel code this code is based on to all the processor architecture supported by the linux the next is the properties of the linux kernel kernel is divided into number of a subsystems linux can also be considered as a monolithic because it lumps all the basic services into the kernel this is the differ from micro kernel architecture because it provide basic services such as communication io and memory and process management and more basic services next we see the function of the linux kernel this image shows the all the functionality of the uh, linux kernel first is the system call second is the process management third memory management fourth file system fifth device control and uh, sixth networking now let's discuss about the system call interface it is the thin layer that perform functions called from user space into the kernel you can find the system calls interface implementation in dot slash linux slash kernel as well as architecture independent portion in dot slash linux slash arch the next is the process management the kernel is in charge of a creating and destroying process and handling their connection to the outside world that is the input output communication among different processes is also handled by the kernel the scheduler which controls how process shares the cpu is the part of the process management the next is the memory management this is the another important resource managed by the kernel the next is the file system Linux is heavily based on the file system concept. Almost everything in a Linux can be treated as a file. Kernel builds the structured file system on top of the unstructured hardware. It is also support multiple file system type. For example, disks may be formatted with the Linux standard ext3 file system. The commonly used fat file system The next is the device control. Kernel must have embedded the code called device drivers for every peripheral devices connected to the system. The last is the networking. Networking must be managed by the operating system because most network operations are not specific to a process. Incoming packets are a synchronous event. The packet must be collected, identified and dispatched before a process takes care of them. the system is in charge of delivering data packet across program and network interfaces and it must control the execution of a program according to their network activity additional additionally all the routing and the address resolution issues are implemented within the kernel this is all about the linux kernel architecture the properties and functionalities thank you